again guys welcome back to the channel so in this tutorial we're going to do a flipping animation card flipping animation it's very simple to use you don't need um, fancy figma plugins to do this or a, a premium version of figma you just need the free version i like the free version okay so let's get started in this tutorial so we have two images here we're gonna get a credit the the creator of this one it's john avon he makes like good land magic cards. He's a good illustrator also. So now we'll have the first, the frame. So this is the frame. So we're going to create a front and then a back. A front and a back component. So let's just have this. Place it there so we can see it on our PV on this side. Have it like 20. There. And just copy this one. If you do it like that, that's not the right thing to copy. So let's just double click if the fill image is there. Just click it here. After you click it, click anywhere on this screen to activate it. And then hit Control C and then close the image. Click this one again and then Control V. Now you have a fill information there. So again, let's do that for the other one. Click here, click here and the image fill. Click anywhere here and just control C and then click on this on this one and this control V. Now we have the front and the back. Let's just label it. So this one will be the front and this one will be the back. Now let's make it into a components so that it will be easy to change all the instances of this being copied. So create a component there. There's a front component and there's a back component. Now let's place it there. Now to do a flipping animation it's just simple. All you need to do is two frames and after the two frames you just prototype it. Prototype it to there and have it on tap smart animate navigate to here and then on tap smart animate navigate to there. So how to do that, just click the second image, right click it and flip horizontal or it's shift H like that, shift H. So now you can see the image on our mirror, right? So if I click it like this, it's do, doing the flipping animation. Now the unique problem is we need it, we need this one to be appearing right we need that thing to be appearing okay so what we will need to do is to make to exchange it to make this one appear is just to overlay it on the images so we'll have like two images in one group so now let's do that We're going to group this one. So now in the group, we have a front and a back, right? So I guess we're just going to disable the prototypes first so that the prototype will hit the card like this. So we'll just prototype the group going here to there. So let's just label it the same, like card. Lab label all your groups the same to have it animate coolly okay so if we're gonna just make this one opaque first disappear first the back the back card we'll do like this right that's a good animation now so what we're gonna do is make this one disappear make this one a zero opacity the front the back is there so let's just disable the back first and make this front a zero opacity. So now, have it like that. So the animation is playing like this. So it's disappearing, right? So we're gonna make the back appear like that. So it's doing like that animation now. So it appeared, but it doesn't do the flipping. Why? Why is that so? Because you need to have the back here flipped okay so let's do that 
flipping thing, right click, flip horizontal. So now the back is now flipped, right? And what we're gonna do is this flip back, we're gonna make it into zero opacity. Just, just make sure that the back is zero opacity in the whole group, okay? <laughs> there we go. So now it achieves something like this. Wow, pretty neat, right? So we have a flipping animation by only using opacities. So let's do it from the very start. You have the front and the back, put them together. Put it there, group them up. Be sure that the group name is the same, card, and here also, same. Now, we want to first show the front side. So we're gonna make this one zero opacity, and we're gonna also flip it. So flip first, the back, back side, flip vertical horizontal, and zero opacity. Like that. And then we're gonna make this one also flip. How are we gonna do that? So we'll see the front. Let's just see the front there. And flip this one. See there? And just zero opacity that thing. And make the back reappear again like this. So I'm clicking the eye icon just to toggle the visibility of it. Okay. And then we're going to prototype it, choose the card, be sure the same layer name, layer groupings, okay, and layer names. Like that, smart animate, on tap, ease out, and then smart animate, on tap, ease out. Going to play it for you. There we go. So there are more advanced things you can do on this one. I I will show you right now how to like present it in high fidelity demos. So it's actually the same concept, but the I, the animation right now for the card, I use variants for this one. So we'll just have there a variant of default here and here. The variant two, and the animation is just click, scroll to this one. Ease out, animate, and click, scroll to this one, variant. And this variants are actually the same as the groupings there. So we'll have the front and the back also. So as you can see there, the back is flipped and also opaque. And the other one is, the front is flipped and also opaque. So let's just have this 100 so you can see that it's actual flip like that. So the full animation for this one is going to be like this. Pretty neat, right? It's, it's just a simple animation, but you know, it adds like another layer for your for suggestions in your demos. Okay. So that's it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this demo. So we have the. I'll link these two versions. So this one, the variant version for you pro users out there, professional users, and also the other version is just the simple component version. I also link that one. I'll just merge them both. Let's merge them both here. So that you can fiddle around with it. And yeah. Also, I have some updates on my channels. I, uh, you can see now I'm using variants because I've been approved by Figma, <laughs> by Figma for being a educational course YouTuber right now. So I can use like variants, but I will try to use all the features for free, and then for the pro version. So I will try to provide you to two Figma files, if I can. But the Figma animation is really, really, really recommended if you like have variants on your 
variants and components on your animations because it's much you have much more control on your animations. You can do cool stuffs on it. So yeah. So hope hope this this animation helps you out, the flipping animation, and see you around. Stay safe, everyone, and have a good one.